Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5e. The topic for today is clever uses of shape water in Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Did you want to play a waterbender from Avatar? Elsa from Frozen? Frost or Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat? This is the spell for you and frankly anyone. Shape Water is a cantrip for Dungeons & Dragons 5e with many different ways to manipulate water like Move Water, Shape Water, Animate Water, Freeze Water, Change Water Colour and Opacity. Here is a list of different ways you can use the Shape Water cantrip creatively. Moving a 5 foot cube of water 5 feet or changing its direction instantaneously. You could move boiling water out of a pot or pull onto a creature and burn them. Empty a fountain, pull, cup or other container. Poisoned, heated, frigid or infected water doesn't have to be touched by a character. Redirect the flow of water from a geyser, fountain, river, stream or creek very briefly. Wash a dirty creature with water that's close by. Make water fly 5 feet upward for a moment. Dry a creature or yourself by moving the water off their body onto the ground. Move water between containers. Power or move a water wheel by moving water past the wheel for a second. This can be repeated multiple times to keep the water wheel moving. Form a 5 foot cube of water into a simple shape and control the water's animation for one hour. You can show a creature where to go or give instructions by creating shapes such as a sign or an arrow to direct another creature. Communicate visually by making water into a written letter or symbol. Position water into the shape of a simple item like ladders, chairs, boxes, small flat rafts, a sled, mirror, furniture, telescope lens, weapons or a shield, then freeze it. Refer to the improvised weapon section in the player's handbook on page 147 through to 148 for an ice weapon. Position water into the shape of a small simple structure like a wall, a small pillar, a tent, a ledge, an igloo or a bridge, then freeze it. Position water to serve as an obstacle by filling a space wholly or partially. A 5 foot passage can be blocked with a wall of water 5 feet high to slow down creatures. Create a simple humanoid form or a ball to travel with you and animate it to follow the caster. Dungeon Masters will be reluctant to allow this, but it should be made clear to players you can't use this to make a construct or a water elemental to fight alongside your character. Change the water's colour or opacity for a 5 foot cube for 1 hour. You could change the water colour and opacity in a wine goblet to resemble wine and cheat at a drinking contest game. Make murky water clear to search for an object or a creature. Turn water opaque to hide an object or a creature including yourself. Create fake blood. Freeze a 5 foot cube of water for 1 hour. You can freeze water around a door, a window, a gear, a trap pressure plate or another moving part to keep it from moving. Freeze a water source at its choke point to block its flow. Freeze water and give it to somebody to chill their drink. Freeze water in an open body of water to give you something to stand on or sit on. Freeze water inside a lock. The expanding water breaks the lock. Freeze water into a sturdy shape to make a bridge across a small gap. Freeze water into the shape of a wall to give yourself cover, such as half cover or three quarters cover. Freeze water to damage or slow a ship or a boat. Fill a hole with water and freeze it to plug a hole. Pour water onto the floor, shape it into spikes and freeze it to injure creatures or provide difficult terrain. If you can't create the spikes on the floor, try pouring water onto the floor, freeze it so that you have a 5 foot square of difficult terrain that's slippery. Form a 5 foot cube into a boulder or sphere on a slope, freeze it to make a rolling sphere to crush creatures or hit an object or structure. 
freeze a five foot cube of space in rain above a creature into snow or hailstones. This is unlikely to cause damage. Walk across a stretch of water by freezing the water you're standing on is unlikely to work as the ice would be unstable while it's floating in the water. But it's worth a try. Move water above a creature and freeze it so it falls on their head if the creature is small or tiny. This is also unlikely to cause damage and you can't do this with a medium sized or large creature. Freeze a thin layer of ice over a hole in a frozen lake or a body of water for somebody to fall into. Form water into a small igloo or tent and freeze it to provide cover from the weather for a small creature. Where do you get that water source so you can use the shape water cantrip? A water skin, rivers, lakes, seas, a stream, pools, rain, steam, an animated water that has been following you around, or a decanter of endless water. And I'm sure you can find more. If you expected sage advice on shape water to help you understand this very complex spell, you will find almost nothing officially. This means that dungeon masters are left to make difficult rulings that might not always be popular with players using the shape water cantrip. But they need a large range of situations to figure out how to include it in their game. My advice to players using the shape water cantrip is to be patient and try as many different applications for this cantrip. Because even if a dungeon master doesn't allow everything you are trying out, it is very powerful and it is useful and they will still allow you to do some of these things. Here are a few questions on the shape water cantrip. Can the cantrip control the movement of a water elemental or change its form or freeze it solid? Probably no to controlling a water elemental's movement as it's greater than a 5 foot cube. But it might be possible with a smaller elemental. Probably no to changing all of its form because of the size of the creature, but you may be able to change a 5 foot cube of the creature as it does not have the immutable form trait. Probably no to freezing a water elemental solid as the cantrip does not do cold damage, which would relate to the freeze trait the creature has. Does the water you freeze with the cantrip stay solid for one hour? Probably yes as the freezing ability of this spell is a duration of one hour and it's magic and Chris Perkins has indicated that it's a yes on social media. Can the cantrip manipulate snow or ice? Probably not as the wording is referring to water. Can you unfreeze ice or snow with the cantrip? Probably not as it doesn't say unfreeze. Can you make water fly or defy gravity? Probably yes as the wording says any direction, but the description is not clear. You should be able to move water along a vertical or horizontal surface. Now if you found this video helpful, fantastic. I have a live stream that goes into far more detail on this spell and how to use it. If you are interested in more of my content, I have hundreds of videos for players and dungeon masters covering every aspect of Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeons and Dragons 5e. If you want to support this channel, you can through Patreon, the Amazon affiliate links down in the description, the merchandise shelf underneath all of my videos, or just watch my videos. Make sure to share, like and subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I publish new videos, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.